There is not a soul who does not know of Marth, hero, king, and savior. But there are few who know that person. Marth fought valiantly in battle with many renowned heroes by his side, as well as that person. That person was Marth's confident and frank, a shadow who aided Marth's victories. History books hold no record of this hero of shadow. They are the protagonists of the War of Heroes. Their name was... Welcome everybody to the newest series on this channel! Fire Emblem The Heroes of Light and Shadow! Were you expecting this? You probably weren't if you were paying close attention to the poll actually. Because with, it, with about five hours to go, it was actually behind by five votes. Ace Attorney Investigations had like a ten vote, ten votes, and this game had five votes. The poll ended as a 9-9 tie. Go figure, right? I don't really know. <laughs> and it was settled by via random number generator, of course, as you might expect. I put Ace Attorney Investigations as number one, and then the, this game is number two. And uh, the random number generator. I can't talk. The random number generator picked number two, so therefore we are playing this game. And it's probably honestly long overdue because the person who's been suggesting this, Joe Milton, has been suggesting this for almost a year now, actually. <laughs> almost a year. So, you know, your diligence has finally paid off. You, you finally get it here. I've been actually wanting to play this too, because I've never played this game before. This is a blind game, obviously, based off what I just said right there. So yeah, are you ready, everyone? Are you ready to start this? I don't really know whether I want to do like a side side screen setup or a top down screen setup. I figured I'd at least start the video off top down just because it made more sense because of the way the you know the way that opening cutscene was kind of formatted right there. So yeah, there's a bunch of things like a continue button, because I I already tested some things, but you know what? Forget about all this. We're going to erase all data. Right this very moment. All data has been saved. Or deleted. It's the same thing, close enough, right? I don't know. Anyway, though, everyone, now are you ready to start? So as per usual for my normal Fire Emblem playthroughs, I'm going to do a one chapter per episode format. I, I guess I don't know, it depends on what this game has. I mean I'm guessing well, I mean, it does have a prologue, actually, because like I said, I, just did, I did a little bit of a mini-test here. I didn't see any of the text that was written, I just kind of skipped right to the part where it was like, Oh, uh, the prologue, or whatever. So yeah, we're doing a prologue first. I don't know how many of those there are going to be. I don't know if it's only one or multiple ones, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I will have to only do a prologue episode. Anyway, though, difficulty levels, everyone. An entry-level difficulty for players with little experience. You can play the game while learning the basics. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me, but... That might be a little bit too easy, who knows. Recommended for those looking for responsive gameplay. Enemies are stronger than normal. Reinforcements act as soon as they appear. Oh, no. That sounds like that's going to be my nightmare. I always... that That's always one of the things that I just can't deal with for some reason. Like, oh, the enemies act as soon as they appear. Oh, oh shoot, man. I mean, ah, whatever, anyway. Recommended for players seeking a challenge. The enemies are stronger than the enemies in hard mode. Uh, the highest level difficulty the series can provide, the enemies are strong. Okay, well, obviously we're not going for those two. I think it's either between normal and hard. I don't know, I guess I might as well just go for hard. I don't know. Am I missing anything? Am I going for hard? Let me know. I don't think... I, I did actually test beginner or normal mode and hard mode just to see if anything was different. They both looked like they led to the same prologue chapter, so... If, if something changes for some reason because of this selection, then... Let me know. Let me know. I, I am curious about that. So actually, fun fact, this is not the... Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening was not the first game to feature a casual mode. Well, and at least not in North America anyway. So, well, I mean in North America it was, I should say. That's what I meant to say. In, in Japan, well actually I don't know if this was the first one either. There might have been some other game. But, at the very least, this game came before Awakening when it comes to the casual mode. Fallen Allies return next chapter, as you can see on the right screen right there. And it also says on the left screen, sort of too. Uh, the, Fallen allies in battle return to the next chapter. This mode is for casual players. 
But none of these affect the story, though, so that doesn't really matter. But regardless, though, in typical Fire Emblem fashion, you have to pick the classic mode, of course. Why would you pick casual mode now? Welcome! Today, another hero will be born. One who will help decide the world's fate. What's your name, hero? Well, I mean, what do you think my name is? My gosh, I mean, we're not joking around here. We're going straight up for whatever the heck we feel like going for, of course. If I can fit it, that is, actually. Can I fit it? Can I- No! <laughs> what do I do? Hmm. Uh, could I perhaps... Hmm. Oh, wait, maybe if I do smaller letters? I didn't realize... Okay, I'm stupid right now. Maybe I can fit this here. Come on! Kratot! I didn't mean to do that! Delete! Yeah, Kratos! There you go! Alright, now we're good. Oh my gosh, that actually scared me for a second. I was like, no, we can't do it! We can't fit our own name in! Is this okay? Mmm, I don't know, I need to think about it for about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Okay, I thought about it. Are you a boy or a girl? I don't know, I haven't checked recently. <laughs> What's your occupation? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what does this mean? My, is my avatar character playable in this game like the... Like an Awakening in Fates? Hmm, I do wonder about that actually. So I could be professional so salsa. Well, I mean, that sounds like that's kind of what I have to go for, right? I mean, I don't know. Uh, knight, heavily armored knight, slow but sturdy. Mounted knights with superior movement. Axe wielding plainsman, strong but poor defense. I would not want that at all. Armored bowmen, they attack from a distance. Magic users prevail against physical foes. All right, mercenary it is. And what do you look like? Oh, oh, let's see. I have to actually edit some things, huh? No, ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Maybe. Could that be an option? Actually, that might be an option here. What was it? This one? And then we gotta make it red, of course, obviously. Which kind of red, though? Is there multiple... Mm. Uh, doesn't look like there's a very good crotto shade of red here. So either... Where is it? Either that one or this one. What should I go for, everyone? What should I go for? Ah, I feel really stuffy randomly right now. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, I... Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, let's just go for that one. I'm not actually... Or, no, no, I changed my mind. Let's go for that one. Uh, I don't know. It's so hard to decide. None of these look good. None of those two look good, I should say. And there's nothing that looks any better, so... Eh, I don't know. Hmm. I'll go for that. I'm sure that's what Kratos always looked like, right? Hmm. Those are nice eyes. <laughs> How many eyes are there? A monocle? Absolutely. Why would I not wear a monocle? So that one might be the one to go for. Let me look at this one more time. Or that one. Wait. Don't these look exactly the same? I might just be hallucinating, but I swear these look exactly the same. There's no difference between three and four. Five, I mean. Ah. Anyway, I should have blew my nose before starting this episode, because really, I really do feel stuffed up right now. So yeah, I guess I'll just go with three and five, because I mean, they obviously look exactly the same, right? At least to me, they do. Actually, the eyebrows might be different. I didn't look at that. No, they don't. <laughs> I don't get it, what's the point? Anyway, I shall now predict your journey using your past, present, and future. Beginning with your past, what sort of circumstances were you born into? A merchant's child, a priest's child, an orphan, a farmer's child, or a noble's child? Well, huh. I don't know, let's just say he was the, he was the child of a noble. I mean, what, what more deserving for Kratos himself, right? And what about and what about you? What is your most impressive attribute? Well, I gotta be wisdom, no doubt. I mean, he is one smart cookie, that's for sure. Wait a second, that might be a bad idea, actually. Oh, hold on a second now. What about what? Uh, if that's what they're asking me, then that would mean. Hmm. Actually, I don't know what any of these mean, really. I'm just thinking though, these might affect how my stats level up then. And this might level up my magic, which I don't want to happen as a mercenary, do I? I'm kind of just thinking about that now. I don't really know what these other things would do, though. Ah, heck with it, I'm picking wisdom. Maybe if I'm lucky, maybe it's like skill instead of magic or something. And I, I don't mind skill being leveled up. So anyway. Finally, your future. What kind of future trait do you strive to attain? Humane, enlightened, recluse. Hmm. Well, I'd say enlightened was probably the right thing to say, I suppose, anyway. Or maybe it isn't, maybe it is. What, what do I know? I don't know anything. With everything now complete, let us begin your story post-haste. Post-haste, what a weird word. I don't know. Anyway, 
Save data, yes please. That took seven minutes. Prologue one. Okay, so there probably is going to be multiple ones. Meeting. I forgot that there was you know, one or not. I felt like I remember there being, but I wasn't 100% sure. No. So I guess there's going to be multiple prologues then? Uh, hmm. What, she, who, what kind of voice should she get now? Should I just go all crazy right now? Wait, guide. What was that? Hmm. Katarina Person, Player Kratos. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. What is this? What is this stuff now? There's so much stuff over here. It's ridiculous. This is how many characters are in the entire game because there's not very many characters here. The, the seventh platoon. Interesting. Should I be looking up more information here? Maybe I should just be avoiding this kind of information. Well, anyway, wait, what was that at the top right there? I saw something at the top. What was that? That was suspicious. Royalty. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous now. And she's over there. Okay, well, so let's see. I guess I'll I'll just I'll just do this and then I'll change my mind if I need to. Yeek! Whoa, are you okay? Well, I'm sorry. Well, I was in a hurry and. Excuse me, did you come here to become an old at night as well? Yep, I came here all the way from Sarah Village when I heard they were re recruiting new knights. By the way, I, I, I forgot to mention this. This is technically a sequel to the first game, Shadow Dragon. So, I don't know. I don't know if you have any problems with that or not, but... I don't know how many spoilers there are going to be for the first game, but I mean, if you don't want any spoilers for the first game... Then you might want to just, I don't know, either play the game or look up a let's play of the game before watching this. I should probably, I should have probably made mention of that. So I'm just saying right now, I don't, I don't have any let's plays to point out because I haven't watched a let's play of this game before. So you're on your own on that one. I'm not going to help, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Anyway, moving on. The name's Kratos. Kratos, that sounds so dignified. I know, right, doesn't it? <laughs> We're here for the same reason, then! My name is Katarina! Well, I came because oh. I wish to serve Prince Marth! What? There was sure a lot of hopefuls here! Look, there's one over there and another over there! Here it is. This is where my shining legacy starts. The first chapter of my epic saga to become Altea's greatest knight. Luke, I'm going on up ahead. Hey, wait up, Rody! Don't leave your partner behind! Oh, he's gonna leave your partner behind, oh no! There's no doubt these two were night candidates like us. We should follow them, Kratos! Why well, think the leader of the night, Sir Jake, has something to say to all of us? Oh, does he now? I sure hope he does. All Taya's gates have opened today, so that we may test you as potential knights. Knights will be chosen by their ability, not by their blood. The path is not easy, though. Are you sure your path isn't clear? <laughs> anyway, we have gathered a hundred men and women today, and only a handful of you will succeed. This is nerve-wracking! I'm nervous too, but I've been training hard for this day. So we expect every one of you to show us the fruits of your arduous training. Apprentices, I want you to gather in pairs. You will be facing real Altea knights in mock combat. What? We have to fight? This could be a problem! Kratos, will you please partner with me? Well, I'm training to become a strategist! A strategist? Yes! Well, I can give you advice and how to fly, but well, I can't fly at all! Hey, you two! You're up next! Grab your weapons and get into position! Hurry! Got it. Let's go, Katarina. The test is about to start. Yes! Let's do our best! Alright, so well, I guess we'll see what happens then. Wait a sec, where are you? Also, I recognize his music! I've heard it before! This is literally, hmm... Oh, he, he actually is pretty weak. Yeah, he was pretty strong in the old games, anyway, or the the first game. Well, either way, also this guy is weak. Surprise, surprise. Defense, avoid, and heal. So, let's see. How do I... Okay, so that's how I highlight the entire battlefield. That's pretty cool, I guess. So, yeah, I do have a lot of skill, so maybe that is what that did. I have no magic. I figure if I pick wisdom, I'd either have magic or skill, and it looks like I have skill. But then again, mercenaries are a position... A... a what's it called? A unit type that 
that actually does specialize in skill, from what I recall, so... You know, that's nice. Either way, though, has this song been in the other game, too? I actually don't remember... I mean, I've definitely heard this song before, but this was in a... This was in Awakening, though. That's why I was a little bit, whoa, I can't believe it. This is amazing now, isn't it? So I think what I want to do, then... I want to wait. I don't want to... I don't want to let him attack me twice, because, you know... That'd be kind of bad. Oh, this music, too! I, oh my gosh, I remember everything about this now. The, the good old days when I heard things. <laughs> so yeah, though, if I did that, it would have been kind of bad, because I would have taken two hits, and no one wants to take two hits now! You want to take one hit only. Minimize the damage! I'm playing like an expert already! How the heck is this possible? It's almost like a mini miracle, right? No. Is there anything more I need to know, actually? Is there, like, skills in this game? Like, an awakening in... Fates? Or is this just pretty basic stuff? I mean, it looks like it might be pretty basic stuff, actually. Just trying to figure it out. Okay, units, maybe I look at that. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing like that. Attack, crit, hit, avoid, move. I move seven? Holy cow. And he moves, wait, what is his? Oh, he doesn't move because he's a freaking, ah. Okay, I see how it is. But still though, seven seems like a lot for a ground-based unit. Hmm, go figure. Anyway, I want to see if there's anything else. Uh, nope, just the iron sword, gotcha. Tutorial, I mean, I could look at that if I wanted to, but eh. none of this is mandatory. It's only mandatory, well, actually, it's not mandatory if you play normal mode either, but, I mean, you can, they give you the, a prompt to select it in normal mode, but I would have selected, well, actually, I might have selected yes, but who cares? I don't really know. Anyway, whoa, my gosh, a record, man. There's so much lore here. So many things here. Actually, I should look at this, too. Animations on. Game speed. I don't know what they mean by manual, but I guess I'll keep it on manual for no reason. Sure. Message speed, normal. Skip enemy action, no. Let's see. Controls, auto, set your preferred control method. Uh, what does that even mean? Does that even... Oh, oh, oh. I don't really know. I still don't really know what they mean, but I guess, sure. Yeah, attack, staff. Set controls for attacking, attacking using stabs. Oh, wait. This game you can attack with stabs? I completely forgot about that, actually. I didn't... I remember there was some game that did that. I forgot it was... I guess Shadow Dragon must have did that, too, because it is based off the same system, I'm pretty sure. So I guess I'll do Advance, Auto Cursor... Let's see, something... Start in Marth each turn? Yeah, sure, why not? Set turns and once all units are moved. Yeah, that's, that helps. Yeah, I'll turn help captions on or off. Sure. Turn mini HP... Yes, I do want that. I want that. I want that. Yes! Mmm... Just a map right now. I mean, how much brightness are we talking about here? It actually does look pretty bright there. I don't think I want it that bright. But regardless, oh, and the only grid, that's all that's left. And then if you put the grid all the way on. Oh yeah! Now we're playing on a real grid! Yeah, I think I'll keep the both of those minimized then, actually, because that looked like it made it really bright. I don't want it too bright. And the grid's just like, that's distracting. Actually, I don't want the grid completely off either, kind of thing of it. I thought. I thought even at minimum it still showed at least a tiny bit of line. I'll keep it like that. Now you can't really see that still. I, I want it to be visible, like maybe this much? Yeah, that might be good enough. I don't know. Is it is it wrong to play with a grid, everyone? Let me know if you would play with a grid or not. I might actually I might actually take those opinions into consideration. Maybe I'll maybe I'll turn the grid off. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> so let's see, he'll do seven damage while well, again, obviously I probably don't want to do that. I actually I will have to use a vulnerary either way, won't I? Well, oh well. I mean, let's see. I mean, if I get a critical hit, I could probably, I could probably get lucky here. We'll see. I'll just end my turn right now. Excellent. Show me what you've got. All right, Jagan, you used to be so powerful. Now you're terrible, man. Except the, the foot soldier kind of weakened me a little bit. So you know, there's that too. Oh well, it happens, man. Nine health. Well, again, like I said, I probably should not risk this, because what if I game over in Prologue 1, huh? You ever think about that? That'd be aw- uh, <laughs> That'd be awesome, man. Anyway, Vulnerary, please. Thank you. I needed that. I need that in the worst way possible now. Oh, he missed! I didn't even need the Vulnerary! Gosh dang it. Ugh. I've been beaten. Yes, yes, Jake, and you have been beaten. It's, it's a tragedy, isn't it, now? All that experience. Oh my gosh, that sounds so retro right there. I'm so used to hearing the the Fates version, which is like da 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 with like like musical instruments and all that. That was actually a pretty good level up though. 
Obviously missing strength and resistance, but still pretty pretty solid overall, I'd say. Map clear! Well, congratulations. Phew, we won. Yes, that was most splendid. I see we can expect much from this year's apprentices. You did it! We won, Kratos! But I didn't really do anything! It was all thanks to you that we won, Kratos! Well, yeah, because you decided to back up for no reason and be like, uh, I'm not even going to fight in this, even though I said I was going to fight in this, I was going to help you out. But she looks like a mage, so I don't see why she didn't participate. Oh well, that's what it is. Why wouldn't you participate? Prince Moth wishes to address everyone who passed the test. Sire, if you please. I humbly thank you all for coming. Why, it's Prince Moth! He looks so majestic! So that's the face of the hero who saved the world! Well, I love the stories about Prince Morth in the last war! What about you, Kratos? Of course. After all, Prince Morth was the hero who brought up an end to the previous war. Yes! He defeated the Shadow Dragon and Dark Pontifex, restoring peace to the world! You there. Silence. You stand before Prince Morth. Yee! Everyone, I'm truly happy that so many came to help shoulder Altea's future. With the war over, peace is returned. However, peace isn't something we can simply take for granted. It is my duty as ruler to risk my life to protect it. Alone, I am powerless. So everyone, from now on, I want you to lend me your power as my knights. Hear, hear, Prince Moorth! It was wonderful hearing Prince Moorth speak, wasn't it, Kratos? Yeah, it was. We have to do our best as his loyal knights. Let's keep at it together! That sounds like a pretty good plan anyway. Oh my gosh. Meeting H, as, as in hard? I mean, what are they trying to say with that? I do wonder about that, actually. Prologue 2, I think I just saw pop up right before that went away. In the past, there was a war known as the War of Shadows. Are you sure it wasn't the Carlon War? I don't know, it could be that too, no? It began when the fearsome shadow dragon, Medius, launched a sudden invasion. What an invasion, man! Oh, man! The kingdom of Arcania, protector of the lands, clashed with Medius's forces. I almost said Medusa. <laughs> but against such superior might, Arcania was overwhelmed and trembled in defeat. Nina, Princess of Arcania, had no choice but to flee from her beloved homeland. To rescue Arcania, the Kingdom of Altea, its allied nation, sailed forth. Altea is a pretty small nation. Jeez. However, it too was defeated by Medius. With its king lost to war, Altea fell to ruins. From his exile on shores, Marth, young Prince of Altea, swore he would retake his homeland. Marth never forgot his oath. Years later, he rallied an armor, army at Talus to defeat Medius. Talus? Yeah, I think that's what, I think that's how you might pronounce that, perhaps. My gosh, I have to learn all these pronunciations. Starting with Seda, Talus's princess, Marth gathered together many allies. Duke Harden, Nina's guardian, also became one of his trusted comrades. with Arcania's treasured fire emblem, awarded to him by Nina. Marth led the Arcanian League as its commander. In the following battles, the League wrestled back control of both Ar Arcania and Altea. Finally, after a long and fierce battle with Shadow Dragon Medius' forces, Marth vanquished the Shadow Dragon, and thus did peace return to the world. These are the events that transpired one year ago. Well, those events sure were crazy now. Prologue 2, Young Squires. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I actually do not know how many prologues there are, so I'm probably gonna say this right now. I'm probably gonna maybe limit this to two prologues then, maybe. I guess. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit weird not calling the first episode one. I mean, I guess I technically am still. I'm gonna call it, like, prologue one and two. Because I don't call it, I don't call these Fire Emblem episodes. I don't call them... I don't call them part. I call them chapter. I am a little bit different in this series for some reason. Quanos, we have been designated as members of the 7th platoon. Why glad we were grouped together. So yeah, I'm gonna end it after this prologue chapter, I guess. So, you know, oh well. As am I. Who are the others? I'm Luke. Or if you prefer, you can call me Luke, the Paladin of Dawn. I am Rhodey. It's a pleasure to meet you. So is that everyone? Um, I'm a new recruit, too. My name is Ryan. I'm an archer. It looks like there's, that's all five of us. But what's the plan for today? There was an order from Sir Jagan. Today's mission is to, yeah, is to decide who the new commander will be. Commander, gotcha. Well, I'll be commander if you guys all insist. Nobody's insisting anything, Luke. Excuse me, I'd like to recommend Kratos! Katarina? Kratos is a really strong individual! Man, he didn't abandon me during the mock combat yesterday! He even knew I couldn't fight! Alright then, I challenge him. Kratos, if you beat me, I'll cede the position to you. What? How was it coming to this? Challenge, man to man. Kratos, you're not afraid to fight me, are you? You won't be silly! Kratos won't lose you! So we'll decide with a battle. That'll let us see who's got the skill to be commander. Yes, you got that right. How'd you know that? Well, I'm sorry, Kratos! That was selfish of me! What I couldn't stand hearing them make fun of you! It's okay. When my father trained me, he used to say the same thing. He said that the best way for men to understand each other is by fighting. What? Your grandfather sure sounds colorful! Anyway, our opponents are Luke and Rhodey! It's been decided that Ryan will be on our team! Yes, I'll do my best. Alrighty then. So let's give me another pretty simple chapter then it looks like. <laughs> Luke, how should we go about this? Rhodey, you waited the back. I'll fight alone. It's just Kratos and that kid, right? If that's all, I should be able to handle it. Oops, uh, I'll show them my true strength. You're at it again? Fine, have it your way. But I think underestimating your opponent will get you into trouble. Indeed it will! What? You're still on the battlefield. I'm a little confused, actually. Anyway, get that back on the screen. I don't know why it was on this screen randomly. I guess it's interesting, though, because it does tell you the clear conditions and how many enemies there are. I'll have to keep that in mind. I don't want to forget about that now. So, let's see. Avoidance plus 10%. So, this has got a 15% and 20% heal. Wait a second. I'm not... Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought Katarina was going to be involved in this fight, but I guess not. So, let's see. What is this? That's just a plane? It looks like that would be different than everything else, but sure. So let's see, what's your weapon? An iron sword, eh? Okay, so this is my plan here. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here, and I'm gonna go over here, because that's a very easy plan. Very simple. What? I didn't know he was still gonna get attacked. I would've put him on the freaking base then. Ow. Okay, gosh dang it. Kiddo, you just stand back and watch. Only Kratos is worthy of fighting me. Well, I mean, he would stand back, but you just decided to like, go and attack him for no reason right there. What were you thinking, man? Are you insane? Yes, you are. You are absolutely insane, actually. Hmm. I might want to actually level him up, maybe. I don't know. And again, I do want to level up the main hero, too. I mean, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with that, of course. I guess I kind of have to be a little bit aggressive in this situation here. I don't want to be, but I... Oh, wait. Kratos, I've heard rumors about you. Sir Jagan said that there was a recruit who stood out from the rest of us. Is that so? Yeah, that's right. And I bet you're hogging all that attention, overshadowing the rest of us. I'll beat you here to prove I'm the best. Prepare yourself. You earnestly believe you can defeat me? Come on now, don't be re- I mean, it does kind of- When you look at the sprite right there, it actually does kind of look like Kratos. So I guess I picked a good color after all there. 
Well, I'm glad. It kind of sucks that the overworld sprite is kind of yellow-haired for no reason. It's like, why? Why'd you do that, man? All right, I'm just going to make him go over here. I don't care. I know I could make him attack right there, but that's kind of risky business right there. We don't need risky business. We need safety business here. We need a little bit of extra defense, a little bit of extra avoidance, and even a little bit of healing, too. It helps. It obviously helps. Oh, now he's going to go attack Kratos, of course. I see how it is now. I really should have just done that from the beginning. Gah! Impossible, the future hero with Luke defeated. I got bling! No! Anyway, whatever. Okay, so I could go on to the forge and just go ahead and heal myself. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait him out. I've been wasting vulneries. That's kind of overrated, don't you agree, everyone? This should be really cheap. It's actually really slow kind of healing, too. I can't skip it either. That's unfortunate. I want to skip things, though. Oh, well. It is what it is. Actually, I'm, only he's healing now, so that's good. That is good indeed. So, I gotta... I'm curious. Okay, so he does have a range. That sucks. I don't want him to have a range, though. Well, that means I want... I should want Kratos to step into that, then. Well, he's still not full health. I'm gonna like, at least let him get the full health first. So, let's see. Will he actually charge at us? I mean, it says he has a range factor, but... I shouldn't really put that on, too. I shouldn't just go over to him. That's gonna take some getting used to. I mean, the last portable Fire Emblem game I played... Actually, did... I, I forget, Path of Radius didn't have that either, did it? <laughs> I don't remember, actually. I don't think it did. I feel like I remember saying something about that. But regardless, this game has that, so I should be using it, because it's a handy tool, dang it! Why the heck not? Alright, I'll put you over there, and then the enemy phase. Oh yeah, he's coming out, man. Kratos, I've heard the rumors about you as well. I need to see your ability firsthand. Especially if you're going if you're to become the commander. I ask you this, as a fellow squire of Altea. Do you now? Do you really ask this as a fellow squire now? What are you even squiring over in the first place? I do wonder about that, actually. On the lap. One, two, one, two. Oh my gosh, these level ups are so good. Sheesh. Why do I have so much skill already at this point in the game? I mean, compare him to him. The difference is night and day. It's like, the difference is so obvious for Pete's sake. I mean, do I really need to make the guys to steal references right now? No, not really, but you get the point. You do get the point here. Well, actually, he's probably going to die. I mean, I mean, what are the odds of me getting completely BS'd out of two hits? Or, actually, I should say three hits. And even 99%, what are the odds of Kratos missing both of those? Not very high. So assuming, I mean, obviously this is 87%, it's a little bit lower, but I mean, what are the odds of me missing three out, out of these, two out of these three hits, I should say. If I miss two out of three, I deserve to die right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> My opponent is an archer, and I should engage him in close quarters. Nah, yeah, you should, man. Uh, why aren't you engaging me in close quarters, man? You said you were gonna do that, and you didn't do it. What, what's wrong with me, man? I don't get it. I just don't get things. Oh well, he's dead. Uh, I see. You're even stronger than I imagined. I... well, I don't know about strength exactly, but I'm definitely very skillful and fast. Kinda nice. Thank goodness, Kratos, you won! I knew you could do it! Actually, come to think of it, if I did lose this, would I game over, or would that, or would Luke be the commander? I kind of wonder if that would actually affect the story. Hmm. We may never know now, we may never know. Alright, I'm a man of my word. I'll keep my promise. From here on, yeah, you're the commander, will be Kratos. Yeah. But I don't get it. I was so confident in my skills, how did I wind up losing? So we didn't fight together. We took turns fighting Kratos one on one. That's why we lost to him. Yeah, my brother once said the same thing. Even if we, even if we are weak individually, we can become stronger by working together with our friends. That's right, fighting with your friends. That is the way of an Altean knight. I see. I thought I could be the victor through my strength alone, but I guess I was wrong. Fighting together is far more important. Luke, well, I'm so glad you understand now! Yeah, it's all clear to me. Looks like being the leader is more, more trouble than it's worth. Let's all leave this bothersome job to Kratos. I'm sure it'll be a joy working under him. Kratos, I'll be looking forward to your help. Does he really get it? Alright then, Kratos. Now that you're the commander, how about I give you a cool title? A title? 
Yeah. All the legendary heroes have their own awesome title. I probably should speed up the text, actually. It does feel a little bit slow, honestly. Hmm. Let's see. Look in your eyes. It's gotta be Kratos the Terrible. No! <laughs> no, you can't do that! Your name is not Jay! You can't do that to me! I don't really understand, nor do I think it's something worth celebrating. I don't worry about it. Kratos the Terrible. I think that's incredibly stupid, but whatever. Sure, anyway, though, I don't know if chapter one's next or not, but, but you know, we've, uh, I don't know, we've probably already been going over 30 minutes anyway. So, heck with it. Let's just end today's episode, shall we? I guess next episode we'll either be doing chapter one or, or, and or prologue three, depending if there is a prologue three, I don't know, M maybe. I don't even know if we're doing chapter one. All I know is that something is coming after this, and we're gonna do it! So anyway, though, everyone, let me know real quick before I end today's episode. Let me know if you've played this game before. I am actually kind of curious about that, because this is, this game never was released outside of Japan. Obviously, as you can see, I'm playing this with an English translation. It looks, looks solid, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if there's... I'm sure there's probably going to be some mistakes somewhere, because, I mean, what how many translations are perfect, really? That's a good question. But regardless, though, I it's, it looks pretty good so far. I Again, I don't know how it compares to the original, because I don't, I don't know Japanese, and I haven't played the Japanese version, obviously. But either way, it looks good. It looks good. Let me know if you played it, though, and... On the next exciting episode, we're going to be doing another, then, I don't know, something. We're doing something, though, that's for sure. I'll see you later, everyone. Goodbye!